like, subscribe, and leave a comment. So UFC Fight Night, Allen versus Curtis 2. Is a rematch they've fought before. Uh, Chris Curtis won previously. I think it was by TKO punches. And also, um, Brennan Allen did lose to Sean Strickland previously as well. I'm sure that was TKO punches as well. Really good fight. This was a really entertaining fight. Really close fight. Um, the story of the fight was the boxing of Chris Curtis was really good. He was going to the body a lot on Brendan Allen. But Brendan Allen was scoring off with the kicks and taking a lot of getting a lot of back control as well um, on the ground. Um, he did. There was, I think, it was a third or fourth round where Chris Curtis had him hurt in the body, and I thought he was going to get him out of there. But then Brendan Allen managed to get to the back, get to the clinch, get to a back position, and try and try for a rear naked choke. Um, that obviously um, you can recover that way if you're rocked as well, and go for the submission at the same time because he's a, a submission specialist from the back. Um, in rear naked chokes, didn't get this, didn't get the submission though, but it was a close fight. <coughs> um, Curtis's boxing looked quite crisp as well. Uh, he looked on the money with the boxing. Um, Brendan Allen was pretty good with the kicks and um, back position. Um, he did threaten the, the rear naked choke submission multiple times, but he just couldn't get it. Um, obviously, if you've got someone's back in back position looking for the rear naked choke. That is that shows a dominant position. So those positions there, he won, I suppose. Um, but with the boxing, I'd, with the stand up, I'd probably lean towards Chris Curtis because he did learn the damage and blows. But Brendan was hanging in there too. Uh, so the judges gave it forty nine, forty six, and forty seven, forty eight. Obviously, the judge, <laughs> judging is a bit all over the place. Um, I'm I'm pretty intrigued to think uh, to find out what people f who fought uh, what they fought on the victory on who won that fight because it was a bit up in the air. So obviously life goes on. Chris Curtis, um, I hope he's doing well. I think he might, might have injured his leg or his knee because um, he was on a stretcher out there. So I hope he's all right. He did take the fight on short notice as well, so uh, it wasn't the best Chris Curtis, but he looked down. He looked really good. Um, as for Brendan Allen, obviously he got the victory, he got some redemption from his loss previously. He's calling out for a title shot. So he is on a seven fight win streak as well. So he's calling out Dreykus Duplices for a title shot. <sighs> he's on a seven fight win streak. Do I agree with that? The thing about what, what um, a lot of MMA fighters, I've been watching this game for a while is you need to call somebody out after you win. It's imperative you do, because he's done the right thing there. He called out um, Dracos Duplices. He's not going to get Dracos Dracos. He won't get out in his next fight. But it puts him up in an upwards trajectory, because they know what he's aiming for. He wants the titles. If you're calling out the title, you're going to get somebody highly ranked in the top five. So his next fight might be against Paulo Costa. Um, who else do you have? We've got Izzy there, Paulo Costa. you got Sean Strickland. Um, Hamzat's around there now. Uh, you got a uh, Canyoneer. There's, there's. He, he's probably gonna face one of those people I just said there. He won't face anyone below that now. Because now he's shooting for the title. The UFC like, oh, you want the title? Okay, let's give you a top five ranked person. So it's probably gonna be Canyoneer. I'm gonna say Canyoneer, Paul Acosta, or Sean Strickland, who he will fight next. Um, I reckon. But it was a great fight. Uh, congratulations to Brendan Allen, and let's see who he gets.